The UNE is actually two processors in one. It's got the uh, Atmega 32U4, which is the heart of the Arduino Leonardo, and it's got an Atheros Linux processor on board with built-in Wi-Fi. So it acts as both a Leonardo and a Wi-Fi Linux board as well. You get the power of both in one. When you first plug it into your machine, the UNE will show up to your network as a Wi-Fi hotspot. So you can go to your Wi-Fi list and it should show up pretty quickly thereafter in the list. You can see it right here. I'm going to connect to it and once I get a successful connection I'm going to go to a browser and I'm going to type in arduino.local. That will connect you to the configuration page for your UIN. Once you're there the initial password is just arduino all lowercase and once you're logged in you get to the configuration screen. It gives you the basic stats of your board. You've got the Wi-Fi uh, address and the net mask in the configuration and also the wired connection. Hit the configure button and you can change all of the configuration. The first thing you might want to do is give it your own name, something like my Yuin, and then give it a password which has to be at least eight characters long. Confirm the password and then pick the time zone. You want to pick the time zone so that when the union connects to the network it will set the time correctly for your time zone. So I'm going to set it for America, New York because that's where I live. And then I'm going to configure a wireless network in the next section. The list of Wi-Fi networks around you will automatically populate on this list and so you can just pick your home network, in my case Tygonet, automatically and you can see that the security type gets set automatically as well. Then all you have to do is enter the password for your personal network. After that hit configure and restart. The union will then reset itself and attempt to connect to your home network. While you're waiting for it to reset, because what's happening is that the Linux operating system is rebooting on the board, you want to go back to your Wi-Fi connection and connect back to your home network as usual. That way, when the UN is finished booting up, you'll be able to see it on your home network. Once the UN is restarted, you'll get a message that it's restarted, and you'll get a link to its address on your local network, which is typically the name that you gave it, dot .local. Again, you're back at the configuration screen, so enter the password that you gave it just a minute ago. and you're back at the configuration screen. Except now you can see that your device is, your UIN is connected to the Wi-Fi network, which is great. Now you want to configure the Arduino side, so open up Arduino 1.5.4 or later, and we're going to go to the examples, and we're going to look for a new library called Bridge. Bridge is a tool that lets you communicate between the Arduino side and the Linux side very easily. And the first example we're going to look at is one called Wi-Fi status. Now, there's a serial connection between the two processors, just like you have serial communication between a microcontroller and any uh, Arduino microcontroller and uh, a desktop computer. And what's happening is when you make a connection using Bridge, let's open this a little larger so that you can see the whole sketch, your connection using the bridge library is a lot like the serial connection. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to do bridge.begin your setup, and that's going to open the connection between the two. Then once you're connected, you're going to set up a process. A process is just one particular instance of bridge. In this case, what we're going to do with our process is we're going to run a shell command, like we're sitting on the Linux uh, command line. There's a built-in one in the UN that will print out the Wi-Fi info. So this sketch will simply run that shell command and send the data back to us over the serial connection. Since it's a serial connection, it's got all the usual things we expect from serial. We can see how many bytes are available to read. We can read those bytes. And of course, we can print or print line them as well. So let's pick our yun from our tools menu, just like usual. We're looking for the Arduino yun, and our port will be that serial port and then we're going to upload to the board. Once you're uploaded, you can open the serial monitor, and after it gets started, you should see your sketch print out your Wi-Fi status uh, so you know whether you're connected or not. 
there we go. There's the full Wi-Fi connection. You can see I'm connected to my network called TigoNet. You can see there's my IP address, my MAC address. And in the loop, you can see it's going to continue printing out the signal strength, how many bytes have been passed back and forth, and so forth. So there's our first connection from the UN to the network, and that's great. Might be fun if we could actually connect to uh, an external page, like a web page. So let's look at another example here. This time, we're going to go to the bridge examples, and we're going to look at the HTTP client. What this allows us to do is make a connection just as if we were a browser to any website. So as soon as the sketch is open, here we go, and you'll see it in action. Now, you can see that, again, we're using bridge, and once bridge is open, we're going to use uh, the HTTP client class, and we're going to say client.get, and we're going to give it a URL. This URL is for a, a special page on the Arduino site. In case you've never seen it, let's just go and take a look at it here in a new tab. Once it loads up, we should see the Arduino logo in ASCII. Yay! Okay, so once we upload this to our UN, we can open up the serial monitor and we'll see that the sketch will run and do the connection to the web and get the web page just like it as it was in a browser. So there you go, you've got a very simple introduction to the Arduino UN and a couple of the sketches that uh, come with it. You can do all kinds of exciting things with it now, so have fun.